Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're explaining this teeny tiny keyboard that I have, um, and and why I got why I got it, and what it looks like when it's plugged in, and other stuff like that, and why it's very very clicky. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, jump into that. Oops, I forgot to put this up. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where's my video? Where we go. Ah, uh, go away! I don't want locations. Uh, anyway, this is my teeny tiny keyboard. Um, I originally built this for a really, really silly reason. <laughs> and the reason for that is um, at work, I had a MacBook Pro and I installed Linux on it uh, as a previous job. And I, you know, plugged in monitors to it so that I could do work on multiple screens. Uh, but for whatever reason, and I still haven't figured this out because I... <laughs> I was not willing to fight with X to figure it out. Um, I <laughs> last <laughs> yeah every time I've played with X server configuration, I feel like I've bricked machines, and so I was like, ah, I'm just not gonna not gonna figure this out. Um, but whenever I had two monitors plugged into it, all of the screens would go black. I could only handle two screens at once for some reason. So I would close the lid of the laptop, and then the two screens would work fine. And I I dealt with that. That was good enough. Um, but I would use the media keys on my laptop keyboard to play and pause the music. And so um, even though I had an external keyboard hooked up, I would, you know, use, use the media keys on the laptop. But since the lid was closed, I no longer had access to media keys. And so I asked my friend, I was like, hey, what's the smallest keyboard you know of? And he's like, well, you could probably build this two key keyboard and, and get that working. So that's what I did. I purchased the parts and got this little two key keyboard and uh the keys that i've hooked up on it is the this key is play and pause so i have my media key back um, and then this one turns the lights on and off so you can see the lights are on in here um i think the default is just like cycle through rainbow colors because you know rainbow keyboards gotta get your gamer keyboard um but yeah i use this as a play pause button and it was really really convenient uh was it worth it though I don't know. So you can actually buy this keyboard from KP Republic, not sponsored at all. I just thought it was cool, so I'd show you. Um, I think I spent, I think I spent the eighteen dollar amount here. It was not on sale when I purchased it, um, and I got it with the red case because I thought that looked cool. Um, yeah, the gray and silver. I was like, eh, that doesn't sound that interesting. So I went, went with, went with the red. So that's why it's a nice red color. Um, and I picked up a bunch of really, really clicky switches. I forget what these are called. I think they're Gatoron. One of them is uh, this greenish color. Uh, shoot, what is it called? These ones are jades. I know that much. But I, I picked basically the, the clickiest switches I could get because I, I knew I wasn't going to be pressing these keys a lot. Um, so I, I, like, I would never build a full keyboard out of this because... <laughs> Because these switches are just too too loud, way too loud. Um, but, you know, for a play pause button, it can be as clicky as I want because I'm rarely going to push it. So I wasn't going to annoy my coworkers with that. Um, but yeah, put this keyboard together. Uh, I think I spent, I mean, with switches, caps, and the kit. Now, granted, I had like 20 leftover switches, so I don't know if the switches should factor in, but I think I spent about $40 on this keyboard, <laughs> which... <laughs> yeah it's kind of overkill but anyway neat little thing and uh cool little party trick uh hopefully you enjoyed this and i'll see you around